Hello. Hi, everyone. I'm not sitting properly, am I? <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to games. Welcome to streams. Hopefully it's looking all right. Looks a bit different, doesn't it? I thought I'd try it without the map. We'll see how it goes. Does everything sound okay? Does everything look okay? Do my buttons work? Angles. We got angles. I thought that one didn't work for a sec. And... The button... <laughs> broke it. Okay, that button doesn't work. The classic Marty cam. There it goes. He's a bit off camera, isn't he? He's with us, though, just about. Let's, um... Let's get my special settings box up so I can move the camera about as Marty goes about. I have all these different, um... Scenes set up when I change things. And I don't. I don't use that because he's always up here now. I don't use that old Marty cam scene very often, so I, I've never updated the button until now. So when I pressed it, it thought, "Oh, it wants me to. It wants me to go back to a game from ages ago." There he is, though. I see some up close and slightly snowy Marty. Of course, was uh, facing the camera all nice until. About two minutes ago. So as soon as you press live, he's not having any of it. There you go. You can have a, a little ear perking up. It's about the best. I was saying yesterday, I need I need like I need webcams everywhere really, don't I? To catch where he is at any time. Uh but hey, welcome everyone. Sorry if I missed things. Uh yeah, I, I was panicking about the, the Patreon bot not working. I don't know who it responded to in the end, but yeah, I, I didn't change any settings. It, it seemed to, it just needed another prod to get in gear. So like, I think I think it worked before the stream the other day. But hi, hi everyone that is here. Thank you for joining me. We're back due to, well, due to there being an expansion and the expansion getting loads of votes uh, due to popular demand, Obsession Returns, with new things. And uh, we're hopefully going to be winning at a different solo mode. So this doesn't involve any courtship which is, you know, story-wise at least, a big portion of Obsession. And instead we've got... Uh, we're, we're just trying to restore the estate and reach uh, a bit of a hefty score. Uh, but hopefully we can do it. But I think, like, the five minutes should be up soon. You, you can resume your race to so you can do the Patreon bot. Now with the added gamble of not really knowing who... Um, not really knowing who actually activated it. I'm a, hi, Anne, Hans, Jimway, John, Melissa, Steve. Sorry if I've missed anybody. They keep scrolling before. This is this is the new table. It, it was uh, it's the same table as yesterday. It's just um, it it had the cloth on it yesterday. I'm trying it without. It looks a little bit brighter, doesn't it? But is it making the sound any echo here? Is it? Um, I think like it's a bit of a dark color. I think when I have another mat, I'll have it a bit of a lighter purple. If I can stay with purple. And um, yeah, it just gets to be... It, it's a great thing. It was a bit expensive. A great big mat like that that goes like the whole length of the table. But especially when you've got a cat. It gets dusty anyway. But when you've got a cat constantly going on it, it gets dirty. But uh, yeah, hopefully it looks all right. This is the this is the great big... The main great big change that really... If I put if I put that mat on, it's not really apparent. There we go. Patreon bot is is back on board with everyone. I don't think Marty really he likes that blanket. He really likes that blanket so much. Like we got one just for downstairs, and Marty overtook it. He was never off it, so we could never use it without kind of upsetting him, sending him off in a huff. So we got him a little version and. Most of the time, he never leaves the place that it is, unless Rach is home and the radiators are on. Then he's on his radiator bed downstairs, and there's not really, yeah, there's there's not really enough room in here to to have one of them. So that that kind of trumps everything. If a radiator's on, he's down there. But yeah, it's looking, it, it it suits obsession, doesn't it? Uh, so this is the solo estate challenge. 
is the the new mode that's included with um, the upstairs downstairs expansion. But I have. I've put the cards somewhere. There's piles of things everywhere outside. So it's good that you can't see the entire table. Like, oh, look how neat and arranged this is. The rest of it. Just a, a nightmare of, uh, of things everywhere. Because I've been trying to get... I've been getting all of the new expansion stuff organised because we haven't played with this. So, you know, let's get used to the base game first and all of that stuff. But um, I got everything. So I bought the really useful box, which includes some upgraded things, but also some new things. And one of the new things it includes is new personality cards to play the old solo mode with the new things from upstairs downstairs because it does say you, you can just play the old solo mode just as it was you don't need those new cards but um it, you might want to go for the harder difficulties because it will make the game easier for you playing with the uh, the new staff and i don't know about the new cards and tiles and things but just having staff and having these options will yeah make things a bit easier for you uh, but the bulk of the game will be the same. We're just, we're not really interested in the Fairchilds anymore. We are just trying to build up the estate. So we'll see how that goes. There's still going to be people, uh, there's still going to be a, a bot getting rid of things uh, so that we can't build them in our estate. But uh, yeah, I've mixed in. So the Wessex expansion, the few cards and things that were in that, they're mixed in. Anything that came with the useful box, I haven't mixed in. Um, promotional things. So this little pack of promotional cards is in Upstairs Downstairs and it says don't just throw them all in, you might just want to put two or three in per game. And I thought, I'll just leave them out then. And there is also a separate promotional tiles expansion that you can get. Oh, look at that, you can, you can see the camera. Um, uh, but it says on the, bo on the, on the pack that like they're backer design things, so they've got cool ideas, uh, and they'll they'll probably work great, but they can't be guaranteed kind of um, balance. If if game balance is your priority, you might not want to, you know, put these in competitive games. If uh, if you if you're up for a laugh and thematic things, maybe they are they're worth including. But I've just left them sealed for now. Other than that, I think I oh, should give this a go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the promo cat. Well, I, th I think, like the pr the promo cat can't be obtained, right? Uh, I saw someone asking for it. Ra Rach was looking up just to check, like, can the cat card be used in any way? And I think um, Dan, the designer, gave a, a a jokey answer. It's like cats cats aren't gonna be uh, cats aren't gonna be ob obeying you. I don't think so. I think it's just there as a joke. That's what that's what I feel like anyway. But yeah, we'll we'll get to all of that stuff eventually, and maybe you know I'll I'll put this in the vote uh, for next uh, week, next month, and maybe we'll do the whole thing with the with the upgraded old solo mode. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, we'll see what you want, basically, because yeah, we we wouldn't be doing this if it didn't get got the second most votes for for February's things. Which is great, because I really enjoyed this. So we'll get into it. I thought, like, it was a good idea yesterday. I messed it up a bit, but it was a good idea having a bit where it starts. So the people that don't want the preamble could just uh, jump in later to uh, to all of the stuff. Look, he's, he's, like, he's like he's stretching as far as he can to get uh, off the the screen. Like, I'm just going to need a really long... He's going to go over the entire top of the, of the screen. Yeah, Marty's just taking... He's taking all the fuss away, isn't he? But hey, let's let him. Right. So I think, yeah, I'm pre I'm pretty much set up. We've just got one last draft thing to do, but we'll do that. As we look at the cards, I haven't even looked at the starting cards or anything yet. Right. Hi, everyone. If you've just jumped to the gameplay, I'm Tom, and uh, today I'm going to be playing Obsession Upstairs Downstairs, and it's new solo mode, uh, which is the solo estate challenge. So we are not going to be competing for the hearts of a fair child this game we are going to be trying to build up the estate the best we are shooting for a, a target score basically if we look on the on the round track this is a special round track included in the expansion uh, for either the solo estate challenge or tableau obsession which is a different way of playing it uh, reduces the look and things uh, but yeah we are 
our standard length game target is 132 points. And we'll get more or less points depending on uh, how quickly uh, we manage to end the game. Uh, but a lot of the rules are the same. So there's no courtship. There are no um, you know, trending uh, tiles or anything like that. And there isn't an AI personality card to compete with this time. But there are, there are some tweaks. There's still a die to be rolled and tiles to be removed. Uh, there's still some peril. But we get some, uh, some choice in it as well. Uh, so before we get started... Uh, if you would like to help me keep making playthroughs and make more of them and make better ones, patreon.com forward slash slickerdrips would be an amazing visit. Uh, thank you to everyone that uh, supports me and has joined up recently. You can see, thanks Nicola, Trevor, Esther, uh, for helping make all of this possible. And the 172 people we're now at. It's, it's getting closer, right? To 200. Well, anything going up is great, isn't it? Every little helps, and thank you everyone for your support. So... I am the new Howard family. This is a, the family that comes with the Upstairs Downstairs expansion. Uh, it comes with some new tiles, some new cards. You can play six players with it. Uh, it also comes with a load of new staff members, uh, including the cook as well. The cook only isn't in this uh, drafting section because um, I, have, I am the Howard family and I start off with a cook. So... I can't draft. You can never have more than one of any of these special new um, employees. So, yeah, you, um, you you are stuck with just one cook. But, wait a minute, did, why, is, why is this not coming up in my mini, my mini feed? Does someone just sign up on Patreon? Thank you very much. It's it's supposed to all come up in my, uh, my streaming interface. Uh, but yes, a lot of the stuff stays the same. Oh, thank you so much, Paulette. I really appreciate that. I'll be sending you a message shortly when uh, when I'm done conquering obsession. So yes, I'm the new Howard family. I have set everything up apart from there is a new draft uh, thing that is included in Upstairs Downstairs uh, where we'll get to draft an extra staff member. That's the only thing I haven't done so far. And I think technically you are supposed to do that first. But I thought, you know, I'll, I'll probably... Uh, I'll, I'll need your help making the decision. He's he's just uh yeah all all this Patreon talk gets Marty moving around, just any any position. I meant to come in actually just after the credits finished last time. Uh, he suddenly started facing the camera, and making faces. But that's what he does. So yes, I am the Howard family. If we look at my starting cards here, we have family cards and two starters. So the the Howard family, James Earl Howard. Uh, can just get you some money. So their functions are the same, aren't they? They're just new family members. Uh, we've got Thomas, the Viscount Winchester, uh, Victoria, the Countess Howard, Lady Diana Stark, uh, and then our two random starter cards are Zachary L. Esquire, a successful barrister hailing from a common background. Mr. L. is a fant fascinating raconteur. And Reginald Hopkins Esquire, the youngest son of six of a leading Cheshire family, he is one day destined for the church. Until then, he hunts. Okay, fair enough. So we are renowned in Derbyshire. Does that? That's not the right. Uh, oh, the but the button isn't set up. That's why. Uh, it's just like that hasn't taken me to my estate like it's supposed to. Which is the one that takes me to my estate? There we go. I need to make sure the button takes me there. As well as changing the name of the estate button, you might want to make sure it sends you to the right place. Hi, Tom. This is my first time with the uh, upstairs, downstairs. Hopefully, I'll get on okay. So, yes, we are renowned in Derbyshire, and we begin the game with a cook. So, maybe before we get into the full new stuff and get into the playing, we should cover the servants themselves. So, the the original game, if you, if, if you see my uh, playthrough of the, of the base game, uh, you might know some of this stuff. I will go through what I'm doing if you're completely new to Obsession. Uh, so... You will host events every round, usually, unless you're passing, and they will require some staff. You will send, um, you will invite people to those events, and sometimes they will need some staff as well to have them there. And that's mandatory. You know, to be able to have that guest there, you need a staff member escorting them, uh, handling them, taking care of them. But these new servants, these new short servants, are optional extras that can enhance, that can tweak uh, the game. So the cook can be placed on a tile 
and it will increase your reputation by one at the end. So no matter what other rewards you got, you'll get a reputation. Also, she lets you invite guests one or two levels above your reputation. So normally you have to you know, increase this. You have to be reputable uh, for the prestigious people to consider coming to your events. But the cook can temporarily, at least, let you invite um, some more prestigious people. The hall boy can either be put onto a guest, can assist a guest that is going to be bringing in money. So could assist Reginald Hopkins on a visit. And basically anyone that gives you money, they will give you a hundred extra pounds if the hall boy has been uh, tending to them. Uh, or the hall boy can substitute for a butler, but won't give you any extra money, you know, where a butler is needed, and can substitute for a footman on the carriage house tile. But we'll, we'll see if we get to that. The head housemaid, the pink one, can go onto a card that invites new guests, and you basically get to look at an extra card before deciding. Or the head housemaid can substitute for a normal housekeeper, and then, you know, whenever these new guests servants aren't um are, are substituting for someone else they aren't doing their extra thing uh, so you know there's a tile that lets housemaids substitute for other things so if the head housemaid is substituting for a housemaid that's substituting for someone else she's also not doing her bonus thing that's a whole nested sentence uh, so the useful man is uh, the final new one who can do loads of things so he can permanently be removed from the game to either refresh the builder's market or Get any tile from the bag and put it on the £800 space. We're not going to be doing that because the market works a bit differently in this case. Uh, but what he can do is you can put him on the private study at the start of a village fair to get you £200 extra. Pounds. So if you flip the study, that means you're getting £500 every village fair, which is uh, pretty good. Uh, you can put him on a tile in the builder's market for a discount of £100. You can't pay less than zero. Or he can be put on a tile at the beginning of a turn to decrease the prestige rating of the tile by one. Because also, you can't host events if you don't have the right prestige level yet. Uh, so you can buy the tiles, you can uh, you can renovate those rooms, but you can't host events there until you're prestigious enough. Uh, so, there we go, that's all the new servants. So I know what I have there. My goal is just to earn points. So I kind of feel like early on, as I'm sitting here with no money, I want money. So if we uh, look at the supply board, we've got the normal servants for hire over here section. But this is the draft. I've just put them uh, in the heart of Derbyshire there. I can choose any one of those staff members to start with. And, you know, they've, they've all got their benefits. They've all got great things about them. It's good to be a bit more flexible with standard staff members to be able, you know, to, to invite more guests and things. But I kind of feel like... He'll have other uses throughout different rounds, but yeah, James, I agree. The the useful man, that extra money on village fair rounds, especially if I have uh, if I host something at the private study early on, and then I get five hundred extra pounds, could be a, a really nice boon, couldn't it? Um, they they've all got their good parts, haven't they? But I've got a cook as well. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the useful man. So I feel like. Well, not I feel like. I know that uh, the, the other servants now go into the for hire section. And there's no need, really. You can still do it. But the, the old butler's room here, which was the only way of you getting servants, has kind of been usurped because there is a new passing flowchart when you're playing with this expansion. And I think you're you're allowed, the rulebook does say, you're allowed to use this in the normal game if you want to. Um, normally, when you pass and do all of the things, you get to collect £200 or refresh the market. Now, you're allowed to hire servants using the butler's room instead of, you know, taking your whole turn up of uh, doing it as you had to in the original game. So, uh, yeah we'll probably be using that option at some point very soon. So I believe now we've got all of that, we're all set up. So what's changed? Well, all of the tiles in the game are out here. They are in stacks according to their types. And um, th there's going to be a die roll every round. Things will be removed. But we can choose any tile when we want to build. And we can build any number of things that we can afford. Uh, on a builder's holiday that's a, a late 
game events that normally lets you build any number of things, uh, every tile is discounted by £100 as well. Um, but we are trying to... Uh, one of the ways that we finish the game, it's by completing our tableau. So our tableau is complete when we have uh, three of every type of tile. Or all of your tiles that can be flipped have been flipped. Uh, and you also need to have max reputation, which in the standard game is... Have I still got an extra one here? Have I put the extra token back in the box? It should be eight, right? Yeah, the nine and the ten's been taken out. Because you can play the extended game as well uh, with any of the modes, but I haven't in this particular case. And there's a restriction as well. If uh, you have got three tiles of a certain type and you want to build another one, you've got to get rid of a tile to be able to. So uh, you're you are quite restricted. So I should probably I, I could have had this in a fixed position actually, for you to only see three different tiles. Uh, right. So yes, we should uh, we should just get to it then really. Um, so all of the tiles then are also a, a, a kind of fixed price, right? in that they're in these particular spaces. So when you're buying things, like the monuments, right, quite rightly, are the most expensive. But uh, yeah, they are fixed according to their position. So we can look through these stacks and buy what we need. I admit, you know, I, I've played uh, Obsession a handful of times now, but I'm not at all familiar enough to be able to say, oh, well, I'm going to go for this one and this one. I've got this card, so that means that this thing's going to work really well. We'll, we'll win get a bit, eh? We'll get through it. Right, so uh, what would we like to host for this first round, then? I've got my starting cards. I've got my starting estate. So we could just get straight to it with the private study. Yeah, the I could use the useful man for just getting the money on the village fair without planning it and then the tile's still worth three at the end of the game the butler's room not not worth doing with an action anymore you might as well pass and get all the other benefits of getting your cards and staff back that passing brings you if that was going to be your turn so we could do the main gazebo for afternoon two none of the cards in my hand require any staff so really uh, that's a bit of a bonus we could uh, move this along couldn't we so we could see a bit of the we could see the estate and my cards at the same time might be a good idea. Shift them along a bit. There we go. I'm never going to have more than six cards, right? This will work perfectly. Uh, so, yeah, the main gazebo get me some uh, new guests. Front parlour. We could invite some ladies uh, for some reputation. But, as I was saying earlier, money. I've got no money. If I want to be building things straight away and have more opportunities... I want to be, uh, I want to be bowling. Bowling, bowling. We've got two votes for bowling. The front, the front pole, absolutely as well. Like, as you, as you start drawing guests, you'll quickly find that you need reputation as well. So it's all about balancing it. I could put the cook on the bowling green and start getting a reputation, but I think, I think front parlor will be the next thing. So I might not want if I'm going to do the bowling green. I can invite two gentry, and I will earn £300 for having this sporting event. A footman must be present, so it's on the tile there, it's a requirement. And I can invite two gentry. Gentry is just cards. Is that a... Oh, is it, is it, is it my uh, green screen gap from rotating my... from rotating my chair where I shouldn't be? I'll have, I'll have to tweak this a bit. It seems a bit specific on how I need to sit, which someone who moves about in their seat as much as I do probably isn't a great thing I, maybe I hope that's what you're referring to like that little gap there but yeah the, the front pile is going to be vital to get um, reputation soon as well so if I'm going to do the front pile the next time I might not want to invite ladies now so I've got them available for next time I would like money you know we, we haven't got the the hall boy to increase the money gained from any of these cards so it might be as simple as just let's invite James Earl Howard and Reginald Hopkins. And oh, the, the downside of not having the mat on the table is that the cards are harder to pick up, of course. Uh, but 
we could just invite James Earl Howard and Reginald Hopkins Esquire. Don't need any staff members. Earn £300. We'll just get money this time. I think that would be a decent start as well. So, yes, we're hosting activity. We invited the guests. Provide service. Service has been provided. And then enjoy the favours. We do them in this order, but I'm only gaining money. So it's three, four, five, six hundred pounds. And, of course, I haven't got my hundreds sorted yet, actually. And I won't do it all in fifties. We'll just... Uh, these these are hundreds for now. We'll, of course, use Marty Bucks, because uh, why wouldn't we do that? So I've got six hundred now. And uh, so, yes, buy from the market. Let's have a look at the market. So I, I probably want fairly cheap things to start with. Uh, and yeah, you, you can you can dig into the piles however you like. I'm probably not going to be able to afford to, to buy high level things. Not that I would particularly want them right now. But I have got the cook to bring down uh, the prestige of, uh, of certain places. So the morning room, you put one, two or three gentry in there. It just makes it worth a point. It's not a particularly great thing to have in there. Dismissing guests, I don't particularly want right now. The retiring room is quite expensive, although they'll be worth more points as you... Um, the retiring room for ladies repair and relief. It's always tempting to get service. And I can buy as many things as I like. So I could get... You know, footmen can be valets. Or get the underbutler who can perform any male service role apart from useful man. That would cost me 400, so I probably wouldn't be able to buy anything else. All estate activities generate an extra reputation, which if I'm going to do the gazebo next time, that would only cost 200. I'd still be able to afford uh, a nice building. Uh, steal a thing isn't really going to help me. Uh, renovated kitchen, quite expensive. You need a cook to do it. Um, two gentry, guests of any prestige rating may attend, though, because that's the kind of the thing the cook lets you do. But that's that's tempting, but it's £600. I kind of feel like, what if we got the barn early on, and then these are 400 You know, the, the riding stables or the croquet lawn only cost 400 minus two. They could be something to get. You know, another sporting activity to earn some money later would only cost 200. I have got 600 though, haven't I? I could go for something like, you know, the business room is nice to be investing some money, but not just yet, I don't think. The, the breakfast room, they're, they're all for a little bit later, aren't they? I don't really want to spend 600 pounds. I might just get some more sporting. Like this one would earn me 300 no, let's, just, let's just keep it cheap. I'm going to do for the... The riding stables is a gentleman and a lady. The advantage of the croquet lawn is it would just be £200. But... It, it would just be two gentry. Instead of a gentleman and a lady, it's just any two gentry. Now, I'm, I'm going to go for the barn. I don't think I'll spend all of it. The barn and the riding stable. So that's 300 minus 1, 400 minus 2. It's going to cost me £400. So I've still got 200. Uh, and they go in my estate. So we can put our guests into discard pile now. Uh, we put them in their proper place. Oh, it's estate activities, not the... I was going to do prestige, wasn't I? But when I do that, I'll generate uh, stuff now. It'll be okay. Uh, clear the board. Your staff go into expended service. Bowling green comes back, but instead of being worth minus three points, it flips. And now it's uh, it's worth two points, but it will uh, only earn me £200 next time I use it. Uh, objectives. You do not start with objectives in this. You shuffle, but do not deal objective cards. Uh, you remove group bonus cards. And I think we just um, we just gain them according to. Um... Oh, they're not actually on the. They're not actually on the round board, are they? Though, are they just not included at all? You might get them on victory point cards, but how do we get victory point cards? I kind of just thought, as it said that, as I was setting up, I just thought, oh yeah, well we'll get to it. But objective card draw isn't on the round anymore now. 
the go the the goal is 132 points. Uh, your score is affected. Um, so for every round before 12 that you end the game, uh, you gain five extra points. Every round it goes on after round 12, you lose five points. Uh, but you're trying to reach 132 points. The game will end when your tableau is complete. And that's considered when you have max reputation and you have exactly three of each improvement tile or everything that can be flipped is flipped. So max reputation is one requirement and either of those with the tiles. You're not playing against another family, although there is a solo dice in there still taking tiles away uh, at the end of every turn. So we're not passing. I'm not doing any of those things. And we just have. Yeah, they're going to they're going to roll the die. After I've gone. So I've had my things back. I've cleared the board. I think, though... It did tell me to get the objectives out. So we must be gaining them at some point. There's a grand ball where you get guests. And they're going to remove things. Yep, yep, yep. Objective cards can be acquired. Oh, you, you will only get them through the main library and victory point cards. How will we get victory points? What's your other way of getting victory points cards? Apart from the... Obviously the, the courtship in the main game, but that's not here. So it's the end of my turn, though. We can roll the die. You can see that there are chits under each of these stacks that's going to determine what uh, the bot's going to take away. So five, we can come to this stack. Uh, they are going to take from the £400 stack. And if it was three, they'd take the top tile. If it was four, they'd take the next tile. It's a five, so they take the third most tile. If there aren't enough tiles, they just don't take a tile. And they, they will never take tiles if it would cause you to not be able to complete, to, you know, get three of everything. They won't stop you being able to finish the game. Uh, but other than that, they will they will dwindle your cards. Oh, some prestige guests have them. Thank you. So yeah, if we want objectives, and we probably do, uh, we're going to have to uh, think about going for those at some point. Right. So they've done that. It's time for a new round then, isn't it? So no special events. Rotate service, the round track, uh, your servants slide down one, and then we need an activity to host. So I was going to, and I did save the ladies... For the front parlour. Although. Am I going to go for the village fair planning? It is losing me three points. I have to have family go there though. Which would get in the way of the ladies for whist wouldn't it? I can still use my useful man. And it will get me £200 for the village fair. Yeah let's, let's go with the plan. And let's do uh, whist in the front parlour. So two ladies are invited to the front parlour. I need a staff member. That's the it's the housekeeper, the red one? Yes. I need a housekeeper in the front parlour. I'm inviting two ladies. Nobody needs staff still. Uh, so the, the girl's bonus always is if a male prestige guest accompanies her to an activity, she gets reputation as well. But uh, that's that's a bit of a way off for now, though. So we, we can, of course, include the cook. Oh, it's the head housemaid, isn't it? That lets you look at uh, other cards. Let's you look at extra ones. So we don't get to do that. Uh, enjoy the favours. So money, there is none. Reputation, there is three. One, two, three from the front parlour itself. Nothing, nothing. Then cards. Uh, Lady Diana Stark allows us to draw a one-star guest. And uh, so we can look at that. Elizabeth, Viscountess Peel. The Viscountess enjoys bowls, lawn tennis, croquet, and other activities out of doors. Good for reputation. A level two card, though. So need to use the... 
the cook or get a little bit more prestige and level up. Uh, and then Countess Howard lets me look at two cards and um, keep one. So we have Charles Wadsworth, BT, works for BT. Uh, Sir Charles, honourable and kind, inherited a family legacy of bad financial schemes. And then Carol Pendergast, oh dear, is an American. Uh, the Howards and, and all of the families in obsession. Derbyshire, not so keen on Americans, unfortunately. From Boston, Miss Pendergast's family dominates the textile industry in the East. So, I've lost three points there. And uh, she, she will owe me £500 if I invite her to an event. You know, she comes from a very uh, rich family, but my reputation will take a big hit. So there we go. That, that's where we are. Uh, buy from the market. I haven't earned any money, have I? This round, I can lose press. I can lose um, prestige to buy things, but that could end up getting in the way. Uh, right, let's let's have a look. I could still buy. Well, I could still buy a croquet lawn if I wanted to. Uh, I could still buy a service building. It would have to be one that's got at least 100 discounts. So Footman could be Valets. Uh, that's that's the one I could buy. Or I could just buy nothing. Which I don't I don't feel like that's going to particularly help me. Yet. I don't have a lot of Footman. Last time I played, we had loads of male guests, didn't we? That all needed Valets, so it was really useful. I don't think I'll buy anything. Unfortunately, so a missed opportunity... Oh yeah, Joel. the the views of uh, the views of the families of obsession and the views of Derbyshire uh, aren't shared by me. I'm all for Americans. Right. What have I done? I need to roll and see what we're losing. We are losing the retiring room. Uh, we've still got the smoking room though for cigars and port. And then we move on, so... Oh, you should actually be down here as well. I haven't finished my flipping about, have I? Uh, the front parlour is now worth a couple of points, and three ladies can go and earn some uh, some renown. Uh, so yeah, slide down. We have these available now. So we might end up a bit limited here. Marty's dreaming. So, oh, the on the round track... We go to round three. There is a village fair. I think then I will put the useful man on the private study, which is his function, basically. And that will earn me £200. Would earn me 500 if I'd also flipped uh, the private study. But there you go. I didn't have to spend a round doing that. So that's not too bad. So I can pass. I'm not really inclined to. What could we host, though? So the main gazebo, we'll get our reputation. I could do with a couple of reputation, really. But hosting things in the front parlour again, we're not earning points for that. We could, of course, get some money. The riding stables. I do have a lady now. That will hurt me reputation-wise, though, won't it? I could, of course, get a lot of money by inviting Pat Carol. To the riding stables. The only oh, actually, we do have Elizabeth, don't we? Who normally I couldn't invite, but if I if I use the cook's ability. Oh yes, which which were my choices actually? Elizabeth just came in, didn't she? And then Charles and Carol were a choice. So I think yeah, let's let's not lose three points is my instinct. And uh, yeah, thank you for reminding me. I've forgotten about that. I thought I had a lot of cards. Yeah, we'll, we'll have Charles. So, Charles could actually be useful right now. It would, it would be a lot of staff. But what do you think of this? Charles, Sir Charles and Elizabeth go for an afternoon ride. Oh, I haven't got a footman though, have I? I don't want to spend a load of prestige to refresh a servant, so that's kind of off the table. It's a bit premature, 
But I'm kind of leaning towards... Pass and hire. It's a bit early for that kind of thing, isn't it? But I don't really want to throw three reputation away. I would earn it back. The main gazebo. Yeah, we would get... It's a, it's a similar thing that I would have to refresh the footman. It is early to pass, but... Especially since I've got cards that could be useful. But... I, th I think I'm going to pass. So the new the new pass flowchart. Pass, refresh your service. So we get... Everyone back. Reclaim your discard pile. We'll organise that in a minute. Uh... Oh, then observe the round track events, so he would be used after that. Then Monuments and Servants Hall, we haven't got those. And then the choice, do we want £200, or do we want to hire, or do we want to refresh the market? We're going to hire servants. So we still use the butler's room, right? So the butler has been placed in his room. Which, does, does this flip? How does flip? That's, that's going to be okay, isn't it? Um, so in, in the expansion, you get to hire servants when you pass. So you wouldn't really use the turn anymore to hire the servants. It's like a, it's an extra thing. And it does say in the expansion rulebook, you can do this in the normal game if you want. doesn't matter if you're playing with the expansion or not. You can use this new passing option. Uh, the scores will be a bit higher, but you can do it. Uh, so yes, I'm going to hire two servants from the supply. I feel like a footman will be good to have since all of these places seem to need a footman. But who else would I like? So the valets, important for people who want valets. I wonder whether we go for the hall boy. An extra hundred pounds on someone that earns money. The housemaid will let you draw an extra card. You still only end up with the same amount, but draw an extra one to look at. The ladies maid, just for things that need ladies maids, we can't get another red one. And we can't choose the underbutler. You have to get the 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 building for that. I think yeah, let's let's go for the let's go for the new people. Let's go for some extra money. So there we go. And then we can shop, and we have ended up with some money, thanks to the the fate. We have got £400, so we could buy something. Now, we probably want something of a different type, don't we? Uh, so these are 500 I could buy the cheapest ones, basically. One, two, or three gentry. It doesn't do you anything extra, though, the, the tile itself. It only really earns you a point. I can't afford anything more than that. I, I could, of course, get... You know, the the housekeeper's room. The head housemaid can perform any female role, or I could spend it all to get the under butler. But I would really have to earn some money next time, wouldn't I? If I'm going to end up doing that, it's another point. But oh yes, thank you. The new ones go in expended service, not uh, available straight away. For these, oh, the the tennis court would be four hundred. It's just, it's it's all the same type, isn't it? I suppose it's it's good for giving you that base of money early on, and they are worth some points. It's just that they're they're all quite similar, aren't they? I should I maybe shouldn't have bought that one earlier on and got a better one. But I, I am low level as well. I can't be looking at too high things because well, the useful man can lower a level, but I've I've just used him, so he can't just yet. And if I want more service things later, you can only have so many, can't you? It's tempting. Do we go for the... The butler's pantry, the under-butler? Who can be anyone except the useful man? Ah. <sighs> 
I'm tempted to hold on. Things are expensive. I don't think I'm going to buy anything. No, I don't feel like I'm going to buy anything. We are getting rid of something, though. It's going to be 11, which is... the. I didn't do this after I... Oh, this is the turn that I passed, isn't it? Uh, so 9, 10, takes the third one down. 11, which is going to be the Gabled Conservatory. We're not going to be able to renovate this game. And I... I need to clear the board and stuff, don't I? So over in the estate. Expended. We have now used the butler's room, though. And earned a point. So not far off the 132, is it? And then we can move on to the next round. No particular event. The grand ball is where we get. It's three. Yeah, th draw three prestige guests. Keep one and put the others at the bottom of the deck. So we will be getting uh, someone prestigious next time. It would be nice, wouldn't it? I haven't got any prestige guests yet. It would be nice to host something that can just take us to at least level two and earn us some good money as well. So we probably want Earl Howard involved in the main gazebo. Get me a prestige guest as well. But they might be really high prestige, but I've got a cook that could get them invited to things. Is it all coming together? And then, yeah, get the prestige guest, and next time invite them along, use the cook, as long as they're like level three. Oh yes, I like this plan. So the there's nowhere I can invite three people, unless it's the front parlor, which would just be three ladies. I want the prestige guest, I think. I think we're going to host something in the main gazebo. So that's going to take a footman. So I can't invite someone. Is that going to get in the way next time, though, when I've used all of the footmen again? So get £200. And then what else would I like? Well, the estate will get me a reputation. So why don't we invite... Maybe just the Viscount Winchester to get me that last reputation I need, so I'm in two. Yeah, I think that's okay. Neither of them need any people. So invite the guests, provide the service, the favours, money, £200 from the Earl. And I'm not going to choose money from the Viscount. Reputation is one because we've got the uh, barn. So all the state activities generate a reputation. And the Viscount is generating one as well. So we are now level two. And new staff and guests, we didn't... Oh, new guest. We get the prestige guest, don't we? So, who is going to be joining us? It is going to be Anne-Marie Comtesse de Vitry. Uh, the wife of a wealthy French noble living outside of London is an accomplished world traveller. £400? And, oh yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe they're going to be playing casino next time. Oh, I haven't got enough um, purple though, have I? Can't, the red can stand in for a purple, though, can't she? Yeah, she can serve as a backup lady's maid. Should I need it? To, oh, but she's going to be needed to actually run the casino. Well, never mind. Uh, let's, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. So we've hosted the activity, we've had the favours, we can buy from the market. I now have £600. And I'm level 2. So probably, if I want to buy something... Yeah, we can invite four gentry to break their fast. It would be nice to have something that doesn't need the housekeeper. The butler is occupied, though, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, we're going to be low on staff again, aren't we? Because everyone's busy. Yeah, I could still have... Uh, I've, I've still got the two... Um, Family member ladies, we could still do it. It's just not going to be quite as uh, as good because I've got, I've got two good cards. I just can't, I just can't have them both. I can't, you, you can't have everything you want. I can't have the four hundred and the two reputation together yet. 
But um, yeah, so the morning room's not that exciting. Yeah, the, these rooms they let you they let you invite more people, but they aren't um, giving you a built-in reward. As um, things like the smoking room would be nice. I don't really want to lose reputation to get an extra hundred pounds though, and the smoking room has to be gentlemen. The paddock. That's 600. I could afford a paddock. Two ladies. I wouldn't have a footman, though. Oh, dear. So I think... You know, casino isn't a, a bad thing to host. It's just I've already flipped that tile, so it's not as exciting to do. I haven't got a way of lowering the prestige of a tile, so I wouldn't be able to buy anything better than a tennis court. It might work out that, you know, we can invite a few people to different things. That could be a good thing. I don't really want to keep never buying anything, though, because I feel like things are just going to disappear. And estate things will give me extra reputation for doing them. Two ladies can admire the blooms in the flower room. Four gentry at the breakfast room. It's just not something that's going to happen anytime soon. They translate to three points each. There's also... We could go for service. Increase the activity guest count by placing a footman on here. Head housemaid can perform any female service role. That under butler could help me out doing things next time but I'd want to buy another thing if I wanted to use it you can deploy a servant from the servant's quarters every turn do you know what I've talked myself straight into that we'll earn some money next time I hope I'm going to spend 400 pounds on energized service because let me um we don't need to see the very top of the player board this zoomed in do we because we can't have more than three of uh, of a particular tile in this mode. So this should be the, the whole thing, shouldn't it? I'll zoom out a little bit because somehow I've cut the end of the board off. We could just zoom out so we can see more of the hand and stuff. Got a sneak peek of the mouse and the... The gap behind me. Footman is a problem. He just won't toe the line. Nice. Thank you for the Patreon, Bart. I like uh, I like being reminded that he's still about. Right. So I've bought. I'm not going to buy anything else. If I buy any more service, which is all I can afford, I'd have to discard a service as well. So we don't want that. We will then tidy up, won't we? Um, we've had all of the favours that we're getting. We've bought from the market. Clear the board. So, you come off now. Wait a minute. These these should have moved on, shouldn't they? They should be in servants' quarters. So I bought them last time. They should have rotated service at the very start of this round. I thought, I, I haven't used all of these people. So we could actually... Would that change my mind on what I want to... On a thing to buy? I think that's going to do me alright. I'll, I'll stick with it. I'll stick with it. But yeah, these people are coming right back in a minute. Okay. Clear the board. Gazebo is now flipped from minus two points to plus two points. And a new round. So it is time for the grand ball, which means I get three prestige guests from the deck and decide which I want to keep. So we have the choice of Tobias, the Earl Hale. Uh, an influential member of Yorkshire society, Earl Hale has extensive interests in Bavaria from his mother's family. Level 4, it's a bit far away, 
Although with the cook, we can invite level fours. £400 and a casual guest. Uh, Theo, Lord Marshfield. The jovial peer dotes on his enormous family, many of whom are in constant attendance. Uh, yes, needs a lot of attendance. £200 and a person. Not really inclined to invite him. Louise, Countess uh, Pembroke. The pleasant and well-connected Countess is wife to the eccentric L Earl Pembroke. So get you a prestige guest and a reputation. I can only have one of these. The Lord Marshfield, I think, is out. I'm not I'm not clicking with the Lord, Lord Marshfield at all. We're going to be able to play the Countess Pembroke normally sooner. Because we're at level two. But getting too many ladies and I haven't got loads of you know um the ladies' maids and housekeepers. I might want to balance it out. But getting more prestige guests. Yeah, getting more prestige guests is uh better, isn't it? We'll do that. Okay. So sorry, Tobias. I'm gonna go for that. Should get Marty. Yeah, Ma Marty would uh, even even if we got him the button, he wouldn't press it. He's he's not bothered helping. No. You can, you can get his ears to prick up slightly. That's that's as much as you can get from him when he knows the stream's on. There he is. Hiya. Have I disturbed you? I'm sorry. Uh, right. So, yes, we've got a prestige guest. And we can continue. We need to rotate the service, don't we? Which means we've got pretty much everybody available again now. And... So we could do the riding stuff. There's not as many people, is it? It's nice to be able to invite loads of people. And it is nice to build up money too. Yeah, kind of. Maybe I should have the croquet lawn two ladies could go to that do you know what yeah it's a solo game take back city I'm gonna spend it's only 200 pounds I'm probably gonna end up getting rid of one of these at some point soon oh and we didn't um I say we bring <laughs> you all forgot as well apparently uh I didn't get rid of a tile 19 means they don't buy anything. So I didn't miss anything. Marty gets... Uh, he gets enough treats. He knows, like... He generally knows where they are, but especially they're in a particular drawer in here now, and only for the last couple of days. And he's just spending loads of his time just sat near those drawers and scraping the sides off them, hoping for another one. Right. He knows sooner or later he's getting them, whether he presses a button or not. Yeah, I think rather than doing casino, we're going to do some croquet. And I am going to at last use the cook to be able to invite guests up to two levels higher, and she will uh, get a reputation as well. I think I'm going to go for my prestige guests. Because we've got the lady's maid, and the housekeeper can act as a lady's maid. And we can put the hall boy, I should keep thinking of best boy. Uh, we can put the hall boy on there to get an extra £100. Is there anything else that I can do? The useful man. Oh, he can discount things as well. Forget that about the useful man. When we're buying a building, he can make it 100 cheaper. Yeah, I think I think that's a decent turn. That's a decent event there, isn't it? So, we can. We invited the guests, we provided the service. The favours will be 200, 400 for six, 700 pounds to add to my non. Uh, and then, reputation the cook provides one, and the countess provides another. So, two more spaces there. Guests, we earn a prestige guest. 
level four, so she isn't coming for a while. Uh, Madeline, Countess of Knollwood. The Viscountess lives humbly, but is well connected. She always travels with her dear companion. Okay. Uh, so that's all of the things, isn't it? Buy from the market. We do have some money now. We do have some stuff that we could... Uh, we probably want a different category. Estate, we do get the extra reputation for hosting things at the estate, don't we? That could be two ladies. We will get... We won't have the cook next time to be able to invite that countess, though. I won't have the staff, I don't think, to be able to... Oh, I, can, I, can, I can use one person from the servants' quarters, though. I might be able to invite Elizabeth and one of the family members to uh, admire the blooms. That could be something to do. Or how much are these? 700? It has to be gentlemen in the smoking room. I do have gentlemen that I could invite. Because just having the ladies there would be good for inviting the family. And that would get me another prestige guest. You know, all of these prestige guests are all points. Oh, can I only put the whole boy on male guests? You may well be right. Uh, no, it's any gentry card in... Uh, oh, I, sh I should show you when I'm looking at cards. Uh, any any gentry card, including family, with a, the, only, the only condition is they have to already give you money uh, to, to give you a money extra. But can also substitute for a butler. As far as this card says, I don't know if the rules um, clarify further, I think I might go for an estate. Get some more prestige guests, get some more options, get some reputation by inviting these ladies. So that's 600, isn't it? That's most of my money gone. And we might want to be saving up money for the national holiday that's coming up. There we go, I've, sp I've spent it though. Uh, and then clean up, well, let's let's do the die now that I'm uh, I'm thinking about it. Three, it's the tennis court, it's gone. And then clean up. We've got a lot of staff members in expended service, but we can play people from... We can play one person uh, per turn from the servants' quarters. So the croquet lawn now is worth three points. And uh, the guests go into a discard pile. We've bought from the market. We've cleared the board. So a new round. Nothing particularly happening here. Uh, and yeah, we might want to buy things just to fill up the, the board. Because you know, if, if we were to finish the game at the national holiday, that would be like 25 extra points. We're not going to do that. But uh, yeah, it can help you towards uh, your, your big points goal. Right, so nothing special is happening there. Rotate service, so we've got that footman available. And we can always use one person from the quarters themselves. And then we've got to choose an activity to host. So I, di I did just get the flower room, didn't I? So I've got the flower room. I do have a footman to be able to host that activity. Two ladies. One lady can be Elizabeth by Countess Peel because I am level two, so that's okay. And um, I can use the ladies made from the servants' quarters thanks to my servants' quarters thing there. She'll get me some uh, reputation. If I can get one more reputation, I, I can't invite Madeline yet because she is uh, prestige level four. Not prestigious enough. But we could do the Howard family would be under the casual guest or Lady Diana of the Howard family would be that last reputation we need. Get us up to the next level, use different things. Just none of those things get us money, do they? And we want really... Maybe I should have rested. We want to earn loads of money next time because it's a national holiday next time. And all of the buildings are discounted by 100. And you can buy as many things as you like in one big go. So yeah, saving up money might have been a thing to do. But I haven't done it. So, we could of course do the riding stables. A gentleman and a lady. And get £200 instead of a new prestige guest. Because we can still invite Elizabeth. Although we might as well, if we're going to do that. I haven't got a male prestige guest. I was going to say we might as well do um, Lady Diana. But I haven't got a male prestige guest. 
Yeah, what if we did the riding stables? Then we can invite a gentleman. I don't think their abilities are particularly fantastic. I could get... You know, if I, if I invited Sir Charles, though, I do have a valet available, and I could get the last reputation I need to tick us into level 3. And we'll just have to try and earn some money next time. So I'm not, I'm not going to be able to buy anything, am I? With a... Oh, I will earn 200 from that. I'll have 300. It's just not really enough to buy something that great, is it? Whereas... What are these? 500. Yeah, I, can't, I haven't got the cards to get 500 pounds this turn, unfortunately. I could lose reputation to earn the last 100, but I'm not gonna. So yeah, we will we'll do this. So host activity, we've provided the service, the favours. Money is just going to be 200 pounds. And prestige is three. One, two, three. Tick me into level three, which isn't bad. And then guests, we do get a casual guest, which could be an American. No, it's John Ambrose Esquire. Uh, the family of the handsome Mr. Ambrose has little wealth, but boasts an illustrious genealogy to reputation. Not too shabby. And I think that's all of the rewards we're getting. Uh, so then buy from the market. I don't feel like it's worth it. There's no £200 discounts here. I only have £300. And we might as well wait till next time when it's the national holiday. Maybe we'll only buy one thing, but we could, you know, I don't think we'll be able to afford the trophy room, but we could get it a bit cheaper if we were to try and get that. Yeah, I think I'll buy nothing, but that does mean something is going to go away still, probably. Uh, with a three, it's going to be the top card from here. The billiards room is gone. Top tile. And really, all of these could go because I already have three sporting rooms, so the bot's got no problem uh, getting rid of the rest of them for me. So the rest of the stuff... I could, you know, I could pass next time and take the £200 and then buy with that. I'm just thinking a lot of my good cards are now in my discard pile from the last few rounds. Uh, but we'll see. Oh, and the riding stables from minus one point to plus two points. So what are we at kind of points wise here? 3, 4, 6, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 18, 19, 21, 24, 25, 27, 35, 35. Okay, so well, only 100 off. <laughs> it's going to be okay. Okay, and oh, we do get points for reputation and stuff at the end, don't we? Do we get points for reputation? I would imagine so. I think I think your points are calculated in the normal way. It's just that max reputation is a condition of ending the game. So that's that's another reason to be racing for it, yeah. Don't worry, it's all going to be okay. Just calm myself down. Okay then. Going into the new round. It's the national holiday. All buildings, £100 off. Rotate your service. And... Choose an activity to host when you didn't get anything very good last last time. But we have now. So we've still got the flower room, haven't we? We could host another sporting event. A gentleman and a lady. But we could do the flower room. We have the extra £100 as long as we send someone that earns us some money. But who would that be? We do have the cook now, so we could invite Madeline here and get another prestige guest. Could pass, but I probably want to pass next time, to be honest. I can earn myself £200 just from playing these cards. Oh, it has to be two ladies, though, so I couldn't send... I wouldn't. I wouldn't be sending anyone that earned money. So my options for buying something would be very limited. Could do something else. Yeah, 
Now, Vic Victoria will let me uh, choose between two casual guests. I'm just thinking, while it's discounted, I want to earn some money, don't I? And we can still use the... It's just... You know, flipping a tile is always nice, isn't it? You're earning some money. You're earning, uh, you're earning some points in doing that. And it would have been a prestige guest. We can do it in the future, though. We could just set... We could just go to the riding stables there. The cook will earn us a prestige, too. Lady and the gentleman. We could, we could get some reputation, but no. The, the boy is here. We want 100 extra pounds, don't we? So these don't actually need anyone serving them, which is nice, isn't it? Yeah, I think that'll be okay. And hopefully we can buy something with... Uh, well, we'll have some good money, actually. No, it'll be all right. Okay, so this is the this is what's being hosted. I think this is good. So the favours, 300, 400, 500 pounds. So we need a sheriff over here. And then... Reputation is one, because we're using the cook. We get a prestige guest, who is going to be uh, the Honourable Albert Plan what Plantagenet. Yes, Albert is a distant relation to the House of Plantagenet, as he is fond of informing everyone. Get you a... Oh, three reputation. Wow. And I am level three, so he can be invited to anything. Okay. And it's worth two points. I think that's uh, that's a that's a good gain. Good gain, good gain. But for now, we need to decide. We should we should buy something, right? We're getting a discount, and I've got money. I could get a monument. I've got eight hundred pounds, but I could buy. I don't know if it would work out. Probably buying two things. But you know the the big game trophy room right there. I would have to discard one of my sporting things, but that's a reputation every turn. And it's five points. Or we could have, say, the drawing room. I need to get a lot of reputation. The cook gives uh, you something every time, right? Yeah, the, the cook lets you invite uh, different people. But also... So the, the cook increases your reputation by one. Taken during your favours. Uh, and optionally can increase the guest can optionally permit guests with prestige ratings one to two levels above your reputation to attend. You get uh, yeah d does both of the things, so we'll always get you the extra reputation, which makes me think you know I think I went three rounds without using her. Should have used her just for the first thing just to get that reputation rolling. I'm kind of leaning towards a prestige building because we've got a lot of reputation to earn. If we want to be eligible to end the game. We can invite three gentry to the drawing room. Worth some points as well, of course. And I'm not going to be to these levels yet. The useful uh, man can lower the prestige requirement of a room. So we could get the music room instead. Yeah. Yeah, the music room. £700, discounted by one. We've got 200 left. We could still buy something else, but I'm not gonna. Yeah, music room. Oh, I like the sound of this. Oh, you've been missing it. Well, I'm I'm glad that you you found out. The cook's even better now. Right. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So we're losing a tile. Of course, it would have been nice if I'd saved my money. Could probably have planned this out a bit better and bought two things at this point. No purchase from the bot builder. But now. Uh, rotate our service first. I always do this. Um, I always do the rotating service afterwards, don't I? Uh, but on the round track, here we go. Getting close to you know the target rounds that you should have done this by. You know no, you don't gain or lose any points uh, if you end the game at round twelve. But we've still got time, haven't we? You get as as the game goes on. You're getting bigger. You're getting bigger gains. Okay, and we can use. We could use the cook or the. Uh, Hall boy. <laughs> the only thing I can think of is best boy. The best boy. Oh yeah, and I was, I was thinking of passing as well, wasn't I? At, at some point, because I've I've got fantastic cards in my discard pile now. Could we have a decent go at the music room? 
the butler is needed to host it, which would mean when I pass, though, I wouldn't be able to use the butler next time if I'm passing next time, but I would because he'd be in the servants' quarters and I can use one servant from the servants' quarters every turn. But if I want to use the useful boy to lower the requirement, I probably want to use him on the village fair. It's going to be fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, we'll, we'll gain people somehow from this, won't we, probably? D depending on who we send. Because, so three gentry, one of them should surely be old Howard here, who uh, has to have a valet. But then we can invite Lady Diana, who will get her extra... Prestige because she's going with a um, she's going with a prestige guest, a male prestige guest, and then we didn't get the no, we didn't get the you're allowed to use um, Butman as valets, unfortunately. So I can't invite John Ambrose as well. We could get the extra hundred pounds, or we could choose between two standard guests, which might make us able to do something next time. Because I, th I feel like it would be bad to... Pa if we pass, we're going to miss out on the village fair next time. Because I'd want to hire, I think. Well, you can not hire and just gain the money instead. You don't have to hire. Yeah, more people. Yes, I'm going with this. Three gentry is three, right? Yep. I'm happy with that. So let's enjoy the favours. Yeah, it is really good. Like, I was saying this about the base game as well, but the... Again, it's the very wordy rule books, but part of uh, the wordiness is um, how the the new staff members thematically fit in. You know, it's got like some sample dishes uh, from a household book from 1861, uh, like lamb's ears forked and mock turtle. And yeah, saying that, you know, it's... They normally... Normally these... Um, these stuck-up people wouldn't be seen dead at your event, but your cooking is... Your your cook is so legendary that they will, uh, they will put up with... Uh, with being in your presence uh, for some of that amazing food. Uh, so, what do I need? Yeah, exactly. Another guest. If I, if I get a good draw of a couple of guests here, we might be able to do another turn without passing, which would let us hire when we do pass next time. Right. So, I want to use someone from the servants' quarters, though, don't I? I haven't had any money, so using the... Oh, wait a minute. Can't the best boy stand in for... Oh, no. He can stand in for the butler. <laughs> Next time he could stand in for the butler. Oh, no. On a guest card. Not in the butler's room. We haven't had a guest card where the butler's an essential servant. If we're passing next time, we're not going to use the cook. But we're not going to pass next time. I just want to use someone so that uh, they're available to me again. And if we're not passing next time, I could use the cook again next time from the servants' quarters. Get him on there. Get that prestige. We need to get max prestige. We're going. Right. Enjoy favours. Money? No. Reputation? Four, seven, nine. Reputation. Wow. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. What a jump. And I, I won't need the cook for her boosting cards ability anytime soon right now. I don't know if I've had that much prestige in one go before. So uh, Lady Diana is just giving us uh, the card that we're stuck with. Lady Elise Gilmore. The Gilmore family is held in high regard throughout the Midlands. Just some prestige. Nice, isn't it? Oh yes, one for the cook. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. The this is this is my first uh, experience with the um, with the expansion. But yeah, just just in this solo mode that isn't even including courtship and that kind of stuff. Um, it is it is wild. All of the options that you've got all of a sudden. 
that you're just like I, I want to use all of these people you still need them for what you uh, what you had before but oh yeah it's brilliant obsession's great isn't it and and then we need to draw two and choose between one of them we have Sir Kenneth Crawley I can't remember what BT means uh, Sir Kenneth has a passion for horses and is heir to a modest estate in the heart of Derbyshire quite good Reputation and another guest. Uh, obviously a risk of getting casual guests that they might be negative points. Uh, Terence Whitlow Esquire from the Wessex expansion. Mr. Whitlow has a keen mind and has earned a reputation of a tireless defender of the landed interest. Some money. But he doesn't... On the upside, he doesn't require... A valet, which in my position... Is going to be a good thing, isn't it? He's not worth a point, though. But if you want to go next time... Baronet, thank you. Hmm. They're both good. They've both got their ups and downs. I could use the valet next time. Yeah, we're gonna we're going with we're gonna go with Sir Kenneth. I'm not sure about that decision, but we we'll do it. Uh, I'll, I'll clear up now because I always forget. So we've, st we've still got some guests. We don't need to pass, but perhaps we should. Uh, and then the music room goes from three points to six points and could be used again for all of that stuff. Now, Forge Entry can enjoy the music room together. And buying something, I didn't earn any money there, did I? So there's, there's no point even looking, really. I can afford a brushing room, which would have been nice. I think it's a bit late, and I would have to get rid of one of my um, service rooms, and unfortunately, the brushing room is not an option anymore. So, that's that then, isn't it? It's the village fair. So, wh at what point does the service get refreshed? Oh, actually, it gets... I could pass still, couldn't I? Because... If I pass... We refresh all of the service, so I will have the butler and the useful man. I feel like I should pass. What do you reckon? Because I have got enough I've got enough people, right? I haven't got two ladies, unfortunately. We would have to have a subpar event at a tile that's already been flipped. But it would mean another round of not buying anything. I could, of course, gain the money instead of hiring anyone. It's just that there are so many guests in the discard pile now. My level four get like all of my prestige guests that could be coming to an event together. I feel like pass, but higher servants. We've got so many, we've got so many good ladies and gents. I kind of feel like a ladies maid and a valet are the ones to go for. Yeah, I'm going to pass. So pass, refresh your service completely. And obviously, like if I lie all of these down so that they're easier to see on the camera, you, you'd stand them all up and they'd be able to fit in that box. It's only because I'm being a bit awkward. Uh, take back your discard pile. Observe the round track event, which is the village fair. So I'm going to observe that by playing my useful man, who gets me 200 pounds. And... Servants Hall, no, I haven't got any of that. Do I want to get £200? I would then have 600 Potentially buy something useful. Or we hire. And then we'll be able to invite more ladies and gents to an event altogether, wouldn't we? I'm leaning towards hire. We could always earn the money next time and then buy at the end of next round. It's just that if we bought something now, there's a good chance. So like these are 700. We won't be able to afford one of these anyway. 
like double the favor of a prestige guest is quite nice, isn't it? And I wouldn't even need... You know, I could invite Albert with his three prestige and double it. Oh, what should happen, actually? What I've completely forgotten is... Uh, thanks, Sam. What I've completely forgotten is, ages ago, uh, the tile reserve should have started. So... The, the service tiles don't change, do they? They're still £300. But it means that all the level 1s get put up there. So they're still... You know, I've got access to anything. It just means that we've possibly had it a bit easier because the bot should have been discarding things from the top of these piles now. I don't know if it has been easy because I think he's, he's just wound his way through this sporting deck. But in any case... I don't know if he does get rid of those uh, service ones. It seems weird that they just go from there to there. Uh, but should I starting... Yeah, I do. I can end the game by flipping everything, though. I've only got one unflipped thing. If I had max prestige and everything that can be flipped is flipped... That... Um... Or is it all three? Have I got that wrong? Let me check. Uh, you're at max reputation and your tableau is complete. Oh, both. You need to have both things and... Oh, no. Yeah, once those two things are met. Yikes. Oh, yeah, I am behind. Maybe I shouldn't hire then. And should buy, start buying essentials, yeah. So we could, for £500, I can't afford something that's plus £400. I'm not even looking at it. What have I got? 400 But I could get 600 couldn't I? By collecting 200 now instead of hiring anyone. So I could get the main library. Only two family can go there, but I can get an objective card. Might help with getting the points. Or the West Saloon. We can have seven people there. That seems brilliant, right? Yeah, I, th I thought it was one or the other. I'm, uh, I'm going to be in trouble, aren't I? So yes, I'm going to not hire anyone, which I'm not very happy about. I'm going to win two hundred pounds, and then I'm going to spend all of it on the West Saloon. But we are going to have a gathering this time. Can I invite seven people? Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we can invite seven people. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to be useful, but we'll see, won't we? Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I've, objective was, um, was my first choice. We need to get rid of something. It's going to be a five, which means the third thing. There isn't a third thing, so they don't take anything. And so now, oh, you should have been there. And so you'll be in the servants' quarters and available. We're going to be having a formal gathering in the West Saloon. And let's see. We want our most prestigious guests here, don't we? So where's our level four? There we go. She doesn't need anyone around her. So great. Let's keep a pile, a pile of people that don't need any accompaniment. And then organise the ladies and the gents. I, I can actually have two ladies that need accompaniment, but only one gentleman. So, out of the two ladies that require assistance. So just some more prestige. What happens if you're full prestige and you gain it? Is it just wasted? You don't gain anything extra, do you? I feel like £400 is required, and he can help out with that. And then more reputation. I think reputation and a prestige guest out of those would be the ones to have. We can invite one gent. Mm. Prestige, maybe. 
you know, two prestige and a guest is nice, but it might be a guest that loses me points. Yeah, I'm going to go for him. Let's put the cook out to get extra prestige there. Why not? And then we're going to have to fill the party up with three other guests. But that's not a bad thing because he's a good prestige guest, isn't he? The only downside of this is I'm using a lot of cards. Aren't I? I'm using, I'm potentially requiring myself to rest again. So she'll get her full thing because she's going to a thing with him. 200 pounds, why not? And I think another 100. We've still got a lot of cards beside. There we go. There's the seven guests. Yes, this will be all right. So enjoy the favors. Nothing from the thing itself. Money, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred pounds. I need. I haven't finished them yet. We're we're redesigning them and rethinking them. Uh, this was th going to be the hundred, but it's it's come out a bit too dark and not very nice. A little glass Marty on it. We're working on hundreds and five hundreds at some points. The Marty Bucks project. Then prestige one for the cook. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are on level six. What's the max? Nine. And then guests. So it's going to be one casual guest. Uh, Sir Richard Branner. Baronet. Uh, Sir Richard is regarded as an elite horseman and he always travels with his own man. So he doesn't need any assistance. That's all right. And then two prestige guests. So we have found Anne, Dowager Countess of Bristol. The sad Dowager has endured a lifetime of tragedy, but she's very well connected in London society. Prestige guest and two um, reputations, not bad. And John, the Lord Brooks, the sedate peer, well connected. Oh, they, these are part of my deck, aren't they? They've just been down here by my elbow. I don't think I would have invited them, but... Oh, I, I, they were the ladies I was choosing from. Yeah, they've only been there for a little bit. The sedate beer, well-connected in and around Derbyshire. Enjoys success in his overseas ventures. Prestige guest than £100. I'm not complaining about that. And it's some more points, isn't it? That's six more points I've just added. So don't get anything if reps fall and get... Yeah, I would expect that. Hi, Paul. How's it going? You're missing out on the Dowager Countess of Bristol. Right. Buy from the market time, isn't it? I'll, I'll put all these in here first. And we can, I need to remember, I can use the useful man as a hundred discount. So I've got 800 right now. And I've, I've got, I'm, I'm talking about worrying about cards. I've got so many cards in front of me still, more than I can fit into this camera angle. Uh, oh, using that rooms gave me five points too. So I need to buy an estate, a prestige, and an essentials to be able to end the game. And what do I have? 800. Cabinet of Curiosities. That's a load of reputation I might not need. Draw a prestige guest. Oh, so I don't invite anyone to this. I just draw a prestige guest and then double their favours. I can't afford... Oh, well, I can afford 900 if I go for the discounts. I am level 6 now. That could be decent, couldn't it? And it turns into a monument after you've used it. Stateroom's too expensive. I probably will need the prestige, won't I? You just can't invite many people to that. Forge entry to admire the art. Is decent, isn't it? Is that? Am I right in thinking that's what the Lionheart suite is? So I just draw a guest. I don't actually have anyone to attend. I draw the guest. I have them in there. The Queen's Suite. Oh, yeah. A prestige guest attends and you double their favour. So you know what you're... You know who you send in there. So it could be gain two more prestige guests. I think... Well, like, my service tiles should be there, shouldn't they, Diane? Like, after they got taken out. But I just kind of... Does that mean that they won't take ones and twos now? 
I wasn't really sure about that. Just thought they're, they're the same price, aren't they? Draw a prestige guest and double the rewards. Well, I need two, don't I? Can I gain the prestige myself through cards, though, if I go for that? Well, the, I'm, I'm earning... I'm earning reputation, aren't I, when that turns into the Lionheart Suite? So that £900, and I've got 800 There we go, then. Useful man. Used getting me the 100 discount. Lionheart Suite. Let's earn that money back. It's a bit risky, though, isn't it? Whereas... Oh, actually, my, my prestige guest that gives me loads of money, though, has just been used. Doubling her would be great. Get 800 by the next thing that I need. I'm just worried that this Lionheart suite, if I don't happen to draw someone that gets me money, it might really hold me back next time. Is there something more useful I could get? Because I can use the butler. I would only be able to invite kind of... Family. I, I could always go for the library still and get an objective card. It just, it could be an objective card that doesn't work at all with what I've done. But it might get me over that points threshold, mightn't it? I could just go for the six people great hall. It's just the, the, the Lionheart Suite will earn me more things, won't it? It's just, I think, being able to invite... Being able to invite all of these people to the Great Hall will probably result in me having money to be able to buy another tile next time. Whereas the Lionheart Suite probably won't... Well, it entirely depends on what I draw here and gets doubled. If it's money, fantastic. If it's not... That's going to help me back extra rounds. Marty's dreaming. But another huge... Another huge event like that means I probably will have to rest, which is another delay, isn't it? Go for it, going for it, going for it. We'll still have the useful man going on there. So it's, what is it, £700 minus one. So I only have to pay 600 I've got 200 in the bank there. Yeah, I'm going with it. So... Yeah, we buy and then the board gets cleared, so... Yeah, I'm going to have to invite a lot of guests that don't need anyone. Have I got... Before we finalise that decision, I don't feel like I've got six guests in front of me that don't need accompaniment. I haven't. I've got four. So that would be a bad purchase, wouldn't it? What about, you're saying the Queen's Suite? What could I double with the Queen's Suite? Who have I got in front of me? Two prestige guests and four reputation would be all right, wouldn't it? It wouldn't give me the money to buy another thing. Two prestige guests and 200 pounds. But I wouldn't be able to invite either of those next time because I wouldn't have the two things available. Whereas... Something that needed... The French Garden. Already established you haven't got six gentry to invite to something. As good as it sounds, I would have to pass before... using it what was the thing here i just draw a prestige should we just gamble let's just gamble and do it i'm going after all of that faffing i'm going with your idea after all 
let's let's just gamble with the Lionheart Suite. It either works or it doesn't. Right, new round. There is no event. Rotate the service. And uh, yeah, let's Lionheart Suite. We can use one person from the servants' quarters. It's going to be the butler. And who is going to be attending? It could be worse, couldn't it? Uh, Crispin, the Viscount Chetwind. Widowed two years previously, the debonair Viscount is rumoured to be romancing a wealthy Bakewell Dowager. Uh, so, do I need to... Where's my little thing that talks about the cards? Crispin? Is it the really useful rulebook? Like, do I have to provide service for him? So that's a big risk if you do have to provide service for him as well. Do not talk about him in the useful boxes rules. I don't think he's discussed. I, I assume I don't need to provide extra service for him because you don't know what you're drawing, right? It would be harsh. Oh, it, oh, you means upstairs, downstairs, doesn't it? It doesn't mean um, useful box, does it? No service. There we go. Yeah, it, it would be harsh if it um, wanted you to have service as well, wouldn't it? Right. So I get two prestige guests then. So you are... You're going to be in the discard pile, aren't you? And you're going to be there. Let's do all of that so I don't forget. And now I've got a monument at last. And these are going into my hand. Lady Violetta Greenway, the beloved niece of the Marquis of Kent, is a fixture in Derbyshire society. Just uh, some prestige. And points, though. Uh, Count Dmitri Konstantinov, uh, hailing from St. Petersburg, the Count has spent a decade in London society. He hunts Derby He visits Derbyshire to hunt. He hunts Derbyshire to visit. Buy from the board, I've got nothing. Oh, I think we're missing a roll from last time as well. Uh, 14 would be 12, 13, 14. Taking away the long gallery. And for this round, 17, 15, 16, 17. Taking a monument away. And... Oh, thanks for follow. Camera is this guy. Hope we're coming through okay on Twitch. I think we are. Um, so yeah, can't buy anything. We've cleared something off. We've cleared the board. We have a new round whizzing its way in. The builder's holiday. And so... Wait a minute. Oh, I had a, I had a discount of £100 for the national holiday. That just means you can host any event and invite any guests. Oh, well. There's always, I think there's always an asterisk. Even if I do manage to win this. There's always an asterisk on everything. This is the one where everything is a hundred pounds discount. So let's see if we can make the most out of that. So rotate your service. So we could use the butler if we needed to. I'm tempted, you know, to host something in the West Saloon again. Oh, monuments. Remember, you've got a monument now. So a uh, reputation. I don't know if we probably could host seven people. I don't. I don't think we can actually. Maybe with all of the. Can the butler? No, he can only. He can only serve guests that require a butler, right? But we could do. We've got four people that don't need any help. Two ladies is six, and one gent is seven. We could have. Oh, that's not eight though, is it? No, we can't. Um, have the formal gathering, unfortunately. Who can the... The useful boy can only stand in for the butler on a card, can't he? Yeah. Or a footman on the carriage house tile. So I don't think we can hold anything in the West Saloon. We could, though, do something in the music room. That's still four people. Or maybe... I haven't, you know, updated my sporting tiles in a while, so they don't allow you to invite many guests. Now, I could get 300 money, but I would just be inviting two people to that. Pardon me. I haven't done the flower room yet. We could have two ladies in the flower room. 
And then that would be worth some more points. And another prestige guest. I just don't think I've got any ladies that earn me money. This round we want money, don't we? I just don't think I'm really getting it. In the um, in this solo mode, though, you can always buy as many as you like. It's just on the on the builder's holiday, they're all discounted by a hundred pounds. In this in this specific solo mode, I think I'm just reading off um, an unofficial play rate. Well, I trust it with my life. Um, yeah, all the tiles are available. You can buy as many as you like each turn, but you can't buy more than three of each tile in the standard game. And then in the Builder's Holiday, they're discounted. Every tile is discounted. So a wiser player will have built up um, money for now, but it didn't. So hopefully it will still work out. So the... the Let's uh, let's just push through with this and try again. I don't think I can I can do eight guests at all. Four. I've definitely only got four guests that don't need a person with them. Yes. So five, six with ladies. Seven. No, I can invite seven people to something. So we could do the music room. That's four people. Will inviting four people get me as much money as just two people at the stables, though? No. If you want money... Two gentry. At the croquet lawn. Doesn't have to be ladies or gentlemen. Hi, Brandon. Oh, glad you could make it. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like the videos. You've uh, you caught me at a frazzled state trying to trying to get everything in in time here i'm glad the english accent is working in uh in terms of english accents i, th I think i said this like something along these lines last time uh the the people featured on a lot of these cards would uh would not be a fan of me for my accent but hey i like how i speak Yeah, if I had if I had taken that American heiress, then uh, yeah, or or I think in another dimension, if I hadn't played the countess so speedily, I could have saved her back, bought the queen's uh, suite, and then doubled her, and that would have I think funded me through to the rest of the game. So what's the best thing if I'm going to do the croquet lawn? We can get a reputation. The most money I can earn is not very good. Well, we can invite John, and then we'll get a prestige guest as well. There's £200. To buy something from the essentials, I only need 500 Obviously more if I want to buy something better. 700 if I want to invite six people to something next time. And I still need an estate. Ah, oh, it's so hard. Just spending all this money and having it for next time. We're not going to finish on round 12, are we? Just inviting someone else that just gets me money is a bit rubbish because it is. Yeah, we're inviting Anne and we'll get some prestige guests amongst other things. Yeah, that's just going to be it. Is it? Yeah. Invite them, provide the service. 300, 400, 500 pounds and... Then reputation is one, two, three. One, two, three. We're on seven. And two new prestige guests, which might help us next time. And then we've got Agnes 
Marchioness of Easton. The well-known Marchioness hails from London and has an impeccable reputation. <gasps> Three reputation and a victory point card. And I am reputation uh, six. And Lady Eleanor Palmer. Without debate, Lady Eleanor is the most gre gregarious and connected socialite native to Derbyshire. Hmm. Okie doke. So that's all of my rewards from those, isn't it? We can't flip that again. So we might not need to pass. I don't know. Buying. I've got £500. I should probably buy something, right? I could... Buy the English Garden. I can invite three ladies to it. Which I think I could do. The ladies themselves, though, would not earn me the money I need. To be able to do something great, though. But... If we went a bit cheaper, we could still use the useful man and get his £100 off. So I could buy something with plus 100 if I needed to. We kind of want both of the female staff ready for her. Get a victory point card could really help us out. Four gentlemen. We want to invite a lady. Thank you very much. Two family, but you get an objective card. It's just that inviting the family isn't going to get me the money to buy another thing. I haven't got enough for the Great Hall. It's tough. Yeah, that, that's the butler, but you can only invite gentlemen. Only invite gentlemen. Can only invite family. Invite six gentry, but it's too expensive. Almost perfect. Could double her favour. Get me two victory points. Cards. I just haven't got two. I never will have two. Um, that, that will never work together, will it? Because you, you can't have two of those um, housekeepers. So. We're just a bit stuck there, aren't we? I don't know what's going on there. Um... The breakfast room is a bit of a letdown at this point, isn't it? But it might give me the money I need to get. This next time and invite the ladies as the last thing. We could just invite two family and an objective card. I can always invite. I know you want to. You want to flip all the cards, which means I need. I need someone going in the flower room. Why don't you save the money then and do the flower room next time? Saving the money because the tile you want might not be here anymore. Eight, six, seven, eight. The north dining room's gone. Clear the board. <laughs> Sit in the English garden. Right. No event, but it's round 12. So we, we neither gain nor lose points if the game ends this round, which it isn't. It's got at least three more rounds to go, which is going to be minus 15 points. Ouch. Because I've never had an event here, and I need to buy things and have events there. Had too many repeats on things that were already flipped, but I needed the money for things, it seemed. So I haven't used that money, so I shouldn't have hosted it there. I should have just hosted it in the flower. No, we can't go back, we can only plow on. Two ladies, one of them is going to be Agnes for sure. The other cannot be someone that needs a person with them because I'm using both of the female staff on Agnes. So it's going to have to be, there is no choice, it's going to have to be Victoria. But I think that's nice though, we're getting a victory point card. Which means... Yes, enjoy your favours, no money. Reputation, three. 
We, oh, we can't use the cook because I already got someone from there. One, two, three. Puts us on eight. Um, guests. We get a prestige guest from the room itself. Major Anthony Cole. The Major is a war hero, but the loss of his legs requires extra care and attention. Gets you some uh, reputation there. And then we get to... We don't need to discard anyone. No one's worth even minus one point. So we get to draw two and keep one. A pauper. The widowed Miss Stowell relies on the charity of friends. She is a distant cousin of the Duke. Unfortunately, Miss Margaret, it's the end of the game. Almost. I don't want to lose two points. I am uh, at risk already. I'm going to get Theodore Lodge, who is going to get me one guest. I don't really want him. Uh, the, the victory point card, though. Four points or an objective card, which is draw how many? Is it draw three or four? Look through a million things. Is it just two? When that's a reward, what would that be in the glossary? Um... So that would be a victory point card. Page 27. How many do I get? And, oh, two from the supply and keep one. It usually. We have had one take back, I think, so far. Four points or risk it all. I'm already reaching for it. <laughs> These could both be completely irrelevant. Wealth bonus. Finish the game with at least £1,200 for 10 points. Or maximum reputation required. There we go. 7 points. I don't think we'll get the wealth. But we'll definitely get that. So I, I need to buy something now, though. So I've had the victory point card. I was kind of hoping that it would be money, to be honest. So, the village fair's coming up. I don't really want to use the useful man, which means I probably want to buy an essential room. So what can I have that's not an increase of money? Either poor gentry, just one casual guest, but you double their favours, or four gentlemen. Maybe four gentlemen. I do have the butler available. And a lot of the gentlemen don't need any accompaniment. I don't feel like they'll get me the money, though, to be able to afford something from here. Oh, the village fair, though, will be getting me 200. In cards in my hand, none of them are worth money. I'm probably going to have to rest as well to get back the people that will earn me money, unfortunately. I don't think there's a way around that. I mean, I can buy something now and have it ready. In which case, four gentry is probably better than Four gentlemen. The tile is going to be worth fewer points. I'm going to have to pass, aren't I? Because I'm not going to be able to afford the tile. And I could even just buy the monument, couldn't I? I think I've been missing out on... I haven't done my monument this round, at least. You know, the sculpture garden's £1,200, but that's 10 points. I think pass we can buy at the end of the... Uh, don't buy anything now, we can buy at the end of the pass round. Unless anyone can see a way around, we've got to pass, I think. 12 is going to be the smoking room. And then... Everything's done up. Even though I've got so many cards, it's just none of them get me money. So we've, we've got to go back, unfortunately. The village fair, I think we're passing. So pass, refresh your service... Get your discard pile back with all of my money in it. And then, if servants are worth points, we could hire servants. But I think money 
is going to be the most helpful thing. Observe round track events, so we'll send the useful man to the private study so I can get £200 for the village fair that's happening. And then... I think we just get £200. How many points are servants worth? Are they worth one each? Two points each. I can afford the room that I want, and I can earn money next time, I think. <gasps> I've got to flip the private study as well. Oh, I wish I hadn't passed it. I'd just done that. What state was I in before? Can I go back to that? I don't really know what was in my discard pile. Oh yeah, that was my discard pile. Can I even go back? The village fair would happen first though. I was just thinking, I probably should have flipped the village fair last time. Do I have two family? Yeah, you have to flip everything that can be flipped. Oh, this is terrible. Because I, I haven't got two family in my hand either, have I? So I have to pass. Yeah, we're just going to lose... Uh, I'm going to lose points and it might be terrible. Uh, so, let's, in the in the hope of inviting more and better people then, let's take staff. And then we can still shop. I will... So I've got £700. Yeah, should have done the private... Since you have to do it, should have just done the private study early on. There was no point. Especially with the useful boy. I think I missed out on money with that. But yeah, I forgot, I forgot that requirement early on. It's Cabinet of Curiosities. No, we, we could... Oh, we don't need one of those either, do we? Double the prestige guest is nice, but three ladies when all of my ladies are pretty powerful. Could really help. Yeah. I'm going to buy the English Garden for £600. And then something goes. 12. The drawing room's gone. Then. Then what? Then you've been used up. So nothing happening now, but I'm losing 10 points so far. Let's... We could just get the private study done now. Where is the family? Oop, oop, oop. Probably the Earl. Where are the family? Have I not seen as I've scrolled through these cards? Oh, there's one. Oh, and there's another one there, yeah. So, how many is it? Two family? Uh, it's going to be the ones that just earn me money, I think. Yeah. You can be this round. Uh, we'll put the cook on to get a reputation. Because why not? So yeah, reputation and £300 isn't going to be enough to buy a tile that I want, but we've got the ladies' night to use in a minute. I don't think we'll need the prestige. We'll earn the prestige. Yeah, so done that. That's flipped over. Future fairs, future village fairs, Bruce, £300 and two things. Yeah, I should definitely just do that. Um, buying something I can't afford, but we are going to lose something. Six. The breakfast room. Probably wasn't going to buy that, but I'm not too sure. Then, up on the estate. Rotate service. Nothing happening in the round itself. We're doing the English garden. 
three ladies, and we've got a bit of uh, extra staff here. So might not... It is a victory point card if we invite Agnes, though, isn't it? It's just inviting other people might be better. And we could all always invite, you know, Lady Diana. And um, where is um, the matriarch? She could always be one. We could invite Agnes. So we need a footman for this. We could always invite Agnes. And then someone else that needs a lady's maid. And then Victoria. Because I'm just thinking, could the victory point card turn all of this around? Although, no. We aren't going to need her... We aren't going to need her prestige, though. We're going to get that elsewhere. We'll just invite... We'll use the... I'm twisting this all around, aren't we? We'll use the red as a purple and just invite three good purples that get us prestige guests. That's a bit of a risk. £400? And that'll get me the thing that I need. I think that'll be all right. So... Guest, guest, guest. We don't need the cook for extra reputation. We've got all the reputation we need. So, provided service. It's been provided. Favours. Money first. Four, oh, might as well. 500. And reputation is three. One, two, three. Max. And... Then guests, so from the room, we get to draw two and take one. I stepped away to see the Autobahn showcase. Is, is it looking good? I only, you know, have seen the basic pictures and know the designers and stuff so far. But I'm really excited. I should be doing uh, videos for it. I believe. Right. So we, we keep one from these. So either Margaret, Viscountess, Brisbane... The haughty Viscountess is uh, well-connected and from one of the largest landowning families in Shropshire. £300 and a guest. Lady Harriet Ott, the wife of a renowned fiery clergyman from Nottingham, is a devotee of the country gardens. I kind of feel like... Um, the Countess Brisbane is worth one more point, so I'm going with her. It's uh, what's making that decision. Uh, so that was from the room, and then... We get two prestige guests from here. So we have Agnes, Dowager Countess Reed. In 1842, a fire destroyed Reed Manor, taking the lives of the respected Countess's husband and child. Lady Elizabeth Hastings, a devoted traveller, the, is the eldest spinster daughter of the wealthy Earl Hastings. With a couple of points and some money. So I think that is that we have hosted in the English Garden. Are we going to be able to meet that score? One more purchase to go. I think... How many people have I got that don't need accompaniment? Four, five... Six, seven... Yeah, let's just get... The essentials room that I can invite the most people to, which is six, right? Yeah. So I need £700 for that. Uh, I'll throw you in so it's 100 cheaper. Because money's worth, money's worth some points at the end, I think. A victory point per 200. Uh, maybe uh, we'll get something from that. And then... We lose something, but I'm not buying anything else. Uh, four... We've lost the stocked lake for fly fishing. And then... So... No event on this round. Haven't got many staff, but can use someone from here. Oh, I need to put the tile in my uh, estate. We're definitely hosting there. This will end the game this round at minus 20 points. Yikes. Okay, so six people. And I've got two vats. I kind of wish now that I'd... 
I don't think I've been doing this. It's a bit late now. I think I did it the first time. But I wish I'd had the one where footman could be valets. I feel like now. At the time, I didn't need it. So I don't want people that only get me reputation. I, ca I can, of course, yeah, bring my reputation down and get money, which might count for points at the end. But I don't want people that only do that. That get me guests would be nice. Uh, I can't do her because I can't get both people from the... I could actually, if I... You know, three reputation refreshes a servant. I could if I really wanted to. I probably don't want to, though. A lot of the men just get me loads of reputation. Getting prestige guests is more desirable. And more money, of course. So what is it? Six people. Well, Madeline, of course, doesn't need any accompaniment and gets me a prestige guest, so absolutely. Then another prestige guest that I'm just hoping is um, worth more than a point to us. And then I think just the gents. You get me a prestige guest. You get me a prestige guest and a hundred pounds. So how many is that? Four people. I can't invite anyone else that needs accompaniment. So what's the best I can get from here? Is a hundred pounds better than a guest? I'll actually invite Victoria because if a cheap guest comes in that I don't want early on, I can use her removability at the end. And then... Or I just invite two people that get me £200, which is another point. A, a cheap person might be up with a point. Let's go for it. Here's what we're doing. Six people. So money... £200. Um, prestige. We're at max anyway. Um, guests. So, three, four prestige guests. We've got Clarence Lord Archer. £600, where have you been? Uh, Lucinda, Dowager Countess of Exeter. Five points and a victory point card of £400. Dowager Countess lived most of her life abroad with her ambassador husband. Ambrose, the Marquis of Tetbury. Owner of much of Bath, the Marcus frequents Rousley to fly fish. His passion. Oh, it's worth some brilliant points, these. Carol, the Duke of Hazelton. The influential Duke has a connection to Derbyshire and his youngest son, who married into the Warwick family. So, all, uh, wow. We might have earned up the, the shortfall in those prestige guests. We also need a um, casual guest. Still a point. Lady Marianne Turner. And I think then we will use uh, Countess Howard's ability to draw two and keep one. Oh, no. Would be, wouldn't it? So we can have Armstrong Pugh Esquire or James Hereford Esquire. Come on, Armstrong. Oh, after all that, lost me two points. Should have just had the money instead of uh, risking it. But I thought that Eleanor might risk it and I might need the removability. The way it goes, isn't it, sometimes? So, that brings us to all of this. I can now buy one more time, can't I? So you come in flipped with six points. Can I buy one more time or does the game just end? Um, once these two conditions are met, the game ends and the score is tabulated. It doesn't say play the round out, but it doesn't say don't. It doesn't say immediately. I'm not really sure on that one. Because 
I guess like there's there's not many points in it, right? In theory, I could buy something. Oh, but then it wouldn't be flipped and the game wouldn't end. So yeah, the game just ends. I, I feel like the game just ends now. Right. Let's go with that. Let's get the... Oh, here we go. Here are those cards. There's uh, updated cards for the AI opponents. If you're playing with upstairs, downstairs, they came in the useful box. I think if if you bought a tile, you would need to uh, discard a tile because you can only have three in the standard length game. So the tile you bought would then not be flipped and the game wouldn't end. So maybe you can do it, but you would lose another five points for the game ca carrying on another round. So I don't know if that would be a good idea. So uh, yeah, let's use the use the same score sheets. So. The notes on scoring, I think, just talked about. Yeah, the round trap modifier. Oh, you you can use the solitaire cards. You know, they had a base score on them rather than just using the target that's on there and any monuments they managed to take, which actually they never rolled the monuments, I don't think, um, will add to their score. For elevated difficulty, you can do that rather than just being against 132 every time. Totally a score as usual. Compare your total to the target score, and you will you'll have a score modifier based on uh, where you are on the board. So improvement tile victory points, which should be pretty decent, shouldn't it? Five, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, twenty, three, twenty-five, twenty-seven, thirty-three, thirty-nine, forty-one, forty-four, forty-six, which is more than last time. But usually, I wouldn't have everything flipped probably. Uh, gentry victory points. Here we go. So, you should find me a two to start out with. So two and the minus two, they can just cancel each other out. Then we've got one, six, ten, fifteen, seventeen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-eight, thirty. 32, 33, 35, 37, 39, 41, 44, 46, 49, 53, 56, 58, uh, 61, 63. I don't know. Uh, objective and milestone. Oh, so subtitle, subtotal, subtitle is 109, 132 wins it. Objective and milestone victory points. We've got one objective, which we fulfilled. We've got max reputation, because we had to, basically, uh, to win the game. So that's seven points. Oh, you can't see the category, can you? Uh, then reputation victory points. You need to see the table in the glossary. Because I can't remember. Uh, and in the short game, max reputation gets you 28 points. Which you'll always get, right? Because you need that to be able to end the game. So, 109 plus 35 is going to be 144, I think. Service, we might have done this. Victory points uh, for service. So, two points per servant. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22. I think against all odds, we might have done it. And then 200 is a point. 2, 4, 500. So that's another two points. So 168 there. Courtship and victory point cards, I haven't got any. So that's going to be 168. Over on the round track, if you ended on round 12, you'd have uh, no modifier. I lose 10, 15, 20 points, but... So minus 20 puts me at 148, which the goal is 132. So against all odds... I think maybe a bit of luck in all of those prestige guests we managed to get right at the very end. Yeah. <laughs> after, after again, I can't remember what... Um... Is that the extent? I thought the extended reputation cap was... Um... Oh, did I read from the wrong table for the reputation? Did I read from the extended game? Oh, wait a minute. 
why have I gone up to the max reputation for the extended game? I did I did max reputation ages ago then. Yeah, I took 9 and 10 out when I was setting up, but actually I should have taken 7 and 8 out as well, shouldn't I? When you're playing the short game. Oh well, had uh, way more reputation than I needed. But yeah, max, max reputation is still 28. I just... Yeah, I just, I just went to the end. What's the, what's the 9 and 10 for then? Is that for like co-op play or some or something like that? Why has everyone got a... What, what's the 9 and 10 reputation thing for? Reputation... It only tells you about reputation victory points in here. Maybe it was from a useful thing or something like that? Did it come with an expansion? The 9 and 10? Oh, the new 9 and 10 counters are for use in Tableau Obsession. Duel. So Tableau Obsession is, is another game mode that is playable on this, uh, this side. Uh, so it's uh, Tableau Obsession, if this is all in focus nicely. Tableau Obsession is Obsession Chess. Designed to remove all randomness and variability that represents Victorian fate in traditional play. Uh, the Tableau round track is used, there is no courtship, and the game ends immediately whenever anyone is at max reputation. At the end of his turn. End of their turn, no further turns. A unique player area setup. So, you use the two 9-10 counters from this expansion. And you have different scoring for getting to max. You use a starter guest draft. You don't get a, a objective cards, but you can still gain them like I just did. You don't get them at the start, but you can still gain them throughout the game. Milestones are used, which I'm looking forward to using, actually, in a competitive game. So instead of drawing the objective cards at, at random, there's milestones out from the beginning that everyone can earn, right, I think? Uh, and in the central area, remove all group bonus objectives, remove the low val oh, use the low-value monuments, use the Tableau round track, the Fairchilds are not used. Use the Queen Victoria market variant for the buildings, which I think is like the lowest value building goes every round, so it keeps refreshing a bit more. So th is this only for... Oh, if using dual, you use the 9 and 10s. So you can use this at any player count, but if you're... Using the dual rules, you have some extra reputation, yeah, because you might get to it quicker in a two-player game. At the conclusion of round three, activate both of the reserves, yeah, like you do in this. There's a grand ball like there was in the solo mode, and there's different... Uh, and Oh, in endgame scoring, you don't take into account victory points, money, or servants. You only get the points from your improvement tiles, reputation... Negative points for unsavoury guests. Points for completed objectives and victory point cards. And the player... Oh, so do you not get it for... Oh, you don't get positive gentry points in this one as well. Oh. That's interesting. Okay, yes, yeah, so that's, that's what the 9s and 10s are for. So yeah, I just... Um, absent-mindedly, as I was setting up, I assumed the 9 and 10 was the biggest one, and I know you take the highest value reputation one out when you're setting up. So actually, I should have reached max reputation sooner, but I was so behind on buying and flipping these that it wouldn't have ended the game any sooner. It just means that loads more reputation I earned would have gone to waste. Uh, but yeah, so so you do uh, you do count all of these victory point things for the, the solo mode, though, I think. Yeah, you, you use the standard scoring and then add the penalty for where you are here. So yeah, maybe... Uh, maybe I'm ready next time I try this variant to use uh, some kind of uh, solo opponent's target score and they add the monument values as they take those away. So there we go. I really enjoyed that mode. Like it, It's story-wise, it's not as like... Um, it, it loses a bit that you're not uh, competing for that um, courtship stuff, doesn't it? But I, I, it's a lot more puzzly, isn't it? They they they're both great for different moods. Like I I, it was kind of tying me up in knots and frazzling me, especially towards the end. But 
it is great. Like you need to even up these categories. You need to have built these and you need to have used every room you bought. So make sure you've used them wisely. Uh, yeah, it's great. Uh, the new staff are great and add a load to it. I'm looking forward to like maybe I'll, maybe Obsession will return if it gets voted for in March as well. Uh, I'd like to try you know, using the old solo mode with the new staff members and the new cards that came with the useful box that let you play the normal solo mode with this. Like you can anyway, you don't need that useful box. It's just that if you play the old solo mode with the staff members, it's easier. Uh, so yeah. Maybe Obsession will be back at some point. But yeah, I, I'm really enjoying it. Even better with the expansion. Glad that I've finally played it after all this time. And uh, and yeah, really, really enjoyed it. And Marty books make everything better, don't they? So thank you for joining me, everyone. Uh, hope you enjoyed some Obsession and the, the strange tales of the Howard family. I'll be back on Friday. We will be back. Rachel will be joining me at uh, five o'clock GMT uh, where we will be playing Eon's End and we will be cracking open a brand new X well brand new to us uh, we we did the new age all four chapters of that we're going to be doing the into the wild expansion which is a story expansion that you know new nemeses new breach mages but continues the story that we have uh, been going on with from uh, the new age and then it's outcasts and then I think there might be one more expansion, but then it will be Legacy of Gravehold. I don't know if we'll be streaming that whole thing, but maybe we will. It, it, it's got some decent votes, I think. But yes, thank you everyone for joining me. If you'd like to help me keep making things and make them even better, patreon.com forward slash slicker drips will be a fantastic place to go. Thank you everyone uh, that uh, is a patron and supports me. Thank you 172 uh, wonderful people uh, for keeping all of this going. I really, really appreciate it. And yeah, I would like to be doing it all the time. It's uh, it's normal job time tomorrow. Uh, but yes, thank you everyone for watching, liking, subscribing, doing all the things that please me and uh, faceless algorithms. And yeah, I will see you on Friday, I hope. Thanks everyone. Bye. Say bye, Marty. Not interested. One day he'll react to that. I think he's I think he's in a pretty deep sleep though. He's been doing some murmuring. Thanks anyone. <laughs> Thanks everyone anyway. See you soon.